I won't keep you a moment. Oh, I can't find his diaries. You can't find them? It's 20 years ago. But they'd be so valuable. Yes, I don't like to think what they'd be worth. For a biographer. Tess is so disorganized. Oh, dear. Well, don't worry. I can't stand those things. Every little word, one can't possibly be natural. Is it on? Yes. I knew nothing at all about him the first time he walked in. When was that? My God, 1964. He had considerable confidence and charm. It was his first play, a radio thing. I thought it was derivative. I told him so. He didn't mind. I thought it was derivative. I told him so. He didn't mind. Not Joe. I'll try and write you a better one, dear, he said. I said, well, that would be gorgeous. As he was leaving, he said, next time, can I bring my friend? And I thought, does he mean friend? And I thought, yes, he does mean friend, which was quite bold in those days. It was the Dark Ages, men and men, and they could still put you in prison for it. And they did, dear. Bollock naked? Oh, no. Keep your socks on. London was still quite exciting then. Remember that? No, no, you wouldn't. This is when? 1967. You're in good shape. It's the way it's... When I die, I want people to say he was the most perfectly developed playwright of his day. Joe was having a wonderful time. His second play, Loot, was a smash hit. So he was making lots of money? Oh, yes, dear. Offers to do this and write that. And he had six months to live. <laughs>